Dinwiddie Gunner and I were out trying to find old home sites. We had a really good plan for today. We realized the spot we were going to go, the ground was too frozen. So now we're out just trying to find something. Look at this. See that rock lined well? What do you think, Gunner? And then I'll show you here in a second. There's a cellar and a foundation. See what we can get. Well, I dug a really old shotgun shell, and I heard this weird piece of iron right next to the well here, and I thought, oh, I'll see what that is. Looks like some sort of old hinge or something. Awesome. All right. That's your second button, though, right? Yeah, first one that had no markings. Cool. Work, well, Brian. I don't have one of those. This is definitely going to be a poor guy. We'll see what he's got. <laughs> Maybe he lost some good stuff. Yeah, in fact, here's the cellar. And I'll show you in a second, the foundation's right over here. Well, I dug an 11. Oh, finally. <laughs> Got me a suspender button. Boy, it's been real slow here. Which we kind of figured it would be. Rip proof. I'll give you a little better look at this cellar hole. You know, there is almost nothing here. I got... We just got suspender buttons and not even good ones. Um, I think I got four and Dinwiddie got two or three. Man, we weren't kidding when he said these guys were going to be poor. Moving on. Let's find a new spot. We still got all day. So this is a different day. We couldn't find another site that day. But we found this one. Look at this big old... Well, I not be able to see very well. Here's the cellar. And then... This right in here is the foundation. And right over here, I think, is an apricot orchard, as weird as that sounds. But my first good find, I think that's a model T key. There's an old piece of lantern, so we definitely got stuff. Good part of a clock. So I just got the top to a button. The back's blown out. But I'm pretty sure that's a train on there. Or a locomotive engine. Awesome. Got some fancy on it. Oh, man. So that's like a great big compact lid or something. Yeah. I think it's silver, it just played it. It was ringing up like a, in the high 90s. Dang, I don't know. It's screaming at me. I mean, they don't usually do that kind of fancy on a plated. What's that say? It's like three initials, I think. It's like an S in the middle. Dang. It might be. That's pretty cool. That does seem like so. Now it's trash. Don't throw that. <laughs> Don't you dare throw that. That's so cool, dude. Good job. Yes, thank you. All right, my first suspender clip. Now I'm thinking. It might be a Shirley Frozen. Problem is, everything's frozen today. I don't know if I'll get that cleaned up on camera. What do you think? Live dick? Wow, whatever it is, it's screaming. Gate, I think. Nice. Man, I don't know if you can see how fancy that is. It's a rivet, but it says U.S. in the center. I wonder if that's like a U.S. cavalry uh, 
rivet of some kind. And it's got almost like a little, I don't know, feathering on the edges. So this is a pretty interesting piece. I, of course, had no idea what it was when I dug it. And I thought it was a rivet, but turns out it's a World War I honorable discharge pin. Like a lapel pin. Awesome. Yeah, so this was huge. Like, look at this border. It goes clear down there. Anyways, you can just see this huge debris field. This is a massive barn. Massive for this time period. It's crazy. This is what you're looking for. Yeah, there's just wood laying everywhere from this barn. This is going to be a couple night job for sure. Dang, that's a big old piece of chain. <laughs> Well, they had women, it looks like. There's a hem weight. I just can't believe how big this is. I mean, when I thought it stopped, which is right here, then I look and there's more foundation here. So I wonder if there was like a, a house on the front even. I don't know, man. This area is gonna be amazing. Oh, this place was huge. I can't believe what I have right here. I got a ring. Whoa. I'm pretty sure it's plated. It was ringing up like a dime, so that's kind of confusing. I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit and get back to you guys on this one. Hopefully, hopefully there's some sort of design on there. It's really cool. Unfortunately, my uh, battery died on me, and I was unable to film these two things, but this is a... It says 1904 Dog Tax... Forsyth, number 40. And this, I'm not sure, but I'm wondering if that is one of those open-ended thimbles, which I've never got one before, but I can't imagine what else that would be. Okay, we're back for day two. It's been a day or two, and uh, got colder, and now it's a little snowy today. Man, hopefully we'll be able to dig. I haven't even tried a hole yet. Dinwiddie's been here a little while. He says the holes aren't too bad, but I I brought my mini coil. There's so many of these bushes and stuff. And uh, I'm hoping I can get in some spots I wasn't able to get into the other day with my regular coil. Hopefully we'll find something good. Turn you on as soon as we do. Well, there's my first good find. Got a little suspender button. So I just dug this plug. So you can see I would have never been able to get in there with a regular coil. I don't know if it'll be anything good. Drawer pull. Little brass buckle. Same bush. <laughs> Boy, it's hard working in the middle of sagebrush, but there's stuff in there. So I just got a strange little thing on a chain. I'm not really sure what this thing is. Well, that is an interesting piece. I do not know what that is. I hope I can find out for you guys. Man, the, <clears throat> this little coil is really paying off. Because we've been through this, but of course, Hard to get it with these bushes, but here's a suspender clip. So I don't know what this is. Maybe a little makeup case. Just clean this little compact up. It says hands disappearing cream. I think it makes you invisible. Oh man. I might have a jar here. Heck yeah, I do. It's a little banged up. Look at that, nothing. <laughs> but it's so rare that I dig a jar, that's so cool. Okay, this turns out to be a muster all jar from Cleveland, which would have been 
kind of like the early 1900s VIX. Here's a pick. Yeah, another little brass buckle here of some kind. Nice. Dang, that one had me going. I thought I had a coin. Little two hole button. Well, that's a point off a, an older car like a Model T, so we know they had cars. Some kind of cool little wheel down here in the cellar hole. Not sure what it is. This might have been easier just to go down there. That. I don't know. Maybe you have a small little wheelbarrow. A little kids thing. Oh man, looks like I got the back to a pocket watch. Oh. Plated though. Well, there's this neat old piece of equipment still out here in the field. Who knows what that is? Well, this was clear away from the other one, but I wanted to get it on video. Looks like a second one. Cool. I didn't get this on film because I thought it was a piece of trash. This side was just so caked. Anyways, turns out to be a carriage tag. Well, nighttime's here. <laughs> It was a fun hunt. Uh, not as productive tonight, but still fun. Got out and used the mini coil, found a bunch of stuff we missed, that's for sure. Seemed like the best stuff came the first day. I hit it hard though. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.